part of my body would you change? Oh my god. <laughs> what? I don't... How many shots have I had? <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Ant. I'm Christina. And today we're doing something really fun. It's called Truth or Drink. So there's a channel called Cut who likes to play this game. So it's inspired by them. And basically we're going to be asking each other a set of uncomfortable questions. Okay. And if you don't want to answer, you got to take a shot. Okay. okay. So we have all kinds. We got all dark syrup because that's what we drink. So we got some Don Julio 1942 some Hennessy VSOP, uh, Highland Park 18, and Glen Livet 18. All the good stuff, all right? This looks dangerous. I know, so I'm not much of a drinker, but shall we start off with like half shot, get the ball rolling? Or... I guess so. We yeah. don't have to. Yeah, we'll, right. we'll go with half shots first. What do you take? Take your pick. All right, oh my Cheers. God. Cheers. <laughs> so the first question is, how many hookups have you had before we met? Like. Hookups or girlfriends? Oh, you said hookups. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can answer this one. But I gotta count it though. I'm like, who was even my first? That many? <laughs> no, I think the shot got me a little bit oh already. Uh, it's supposed, it supposed to make it easier, made it harder. You know, I'll just make it easy. I think it's like around 10 or less, maybe 10. Okay. But what, what are hookups though? It's like just flings or is it like girlfriend? Oh, I was just That's thinking like how many how many girls have I boned? Oh. Alright, let's move on to the next <laughs> okay. question. Has any past exes hit you up since they found out you're a YouTuber? Um It's not that hard. <laughs> well, I can't remember, but I feel like there are always like certain people, maybe not even like exes, but like people who have always like um chased after me that still like try to like hit me up or like they'll DM me. Still? Just so, like if it's like my birthday or something they'll say happy birthday but it's stuff like that. I don't know but... They DM you still? Sometimes. We've been married for like... <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> We've been married for almost... Questions on you. We've been married for almost 11 years. And they're still hitting you up. Well, but they're not hitting on me. They're just like saying happy birthday or asking right. how I'm doing and stuff like that. But if... Any exes that have tried to hit on me, honestly, I feel like everyone has actually really been respectful since we've been together. Shit. Maybe yeah. not in the beginning, oh, but what? since we got married and stuff. Yo, you better be respectful. Come on now. Ma. What was your first impression of me when you saw me? Well, <laughs> we were at a bar. Yes. Because she was, a, was bartender, a bartender. And, um... I was like, I wasn't ready for a relationship, right? Yeah. I just got out of long-term relationships. And that's all I've done my whole life. We both, yeah. And so I was like, you know what? This, this bartender is pretty cute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my game out. And I was like, I'm going to see if I can hit on the bartender and take her home. And so, you know, I was like, she's hot. You know, so I was like, I'm just going to see what I can do. <laughs> I wasn't looking for anything, but obviously she stayed. Okay. I'm gonna ask you a question. Okay. Between us, who's better in bed? Hmm. I mean, I would say that it's me when I'm like really trying. <laughs> what the heck? What does that even mean? <laughs> oh my god, you should take a shot for that. What? Uh, <laughs> like, if I really put in my A game, like, it could be like really, really good. You know? I mean, That's me too, I mean. right? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes she is pretty lazy. What's my most annoying quality? Oh my gosh, that's such a simple one. What? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't taken any shots yet because we're so... Is this what happens when you're married for like so many years? <laughs> yeah, they're not really uncomfortable oh, questions brutal. yet, right? Um, <laughs> is every... Wait, what's the question? What's my most annoying quality? <laughs> so, <laughs> and I brought this up before, but whenever you get frustrated, you're always like, <sighs> I got a little steam. I know, but like, you do that too. Yeah, but you'll be so quiet and you'll be in the other room. And then as soon as you come into the room, I mean, you're like, 
And I'm like, <laughs> you know? I'm like, we couldn't do it out there. Oh my god. I'd rather hear you fart in the room with me than sigh in the room with me. I want to answer this question too. Okay, okay, tell me. Uh, yours is just being very forgetful. Wait, what's the question? Oh, uh, I mean, I'm not going to be mad about that. That's pretty true. Cheers. Cheers. If you had to move out of Nevada, where would you move? That's an easy question. Hawaii. For reals? I mean, I would want to. It doesn't really make sense financially. I mean, you just buy a smaller house. Yeah. For the same price. <laughs> Right? True. So you're talking about like Oahu, Maui, Kauai? Yeah, I think so. But I think it's also because we haven't like really like been e like everywhere yet. So I haven't like um, been able to like explore and see other countries and other stuff. But Hawaii is- Whoa. Like, yeah. You want to move to another country? I mean, I'm just saying. Hawaii is nice though. I love Hawaii. You know, I, I thought about it because US has been kind of like not so fun lately. Yeah. Canada. I thought about Canada. I thought about Australia because all I see on IG are just a bunch of Asians in Australia. Oh, so I'm like, that's kind of cool. But yeah. I want to go to Australia. Can we do that? Who is your favorite kid? <gasps> I don't... When you gotta drink it, you can't answer. You can't say it. I have to pick one? Yeah. Who's your favorite kid? Not favorites. I can Come on. I've been trying to teach the kids. Not to have favorites in the house because it hurts people's feelings. So. Then you should just uh, lay our heads up. Uh, <clears throat> Do you think your life would be better if we didn't get married? No. Are you sure? Yeah, because if we didn't get married, I wouldn't have these two beautiful kids. We wouldn't have this YouTube channel. I wouldn't have a stay at home mom right now while I'm doing all this real estate and podcasts and all this stuff, right? So I would say no. Better. <laughs> what part of my body would you change? Oh my god. <laughs> what? I don't... How many shots have I had? <laughs> I don't know, they're all half shots. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh snap. I don't I wouldn't want to hear you tell me to change a part of my body. You get insecure about it. Simple. Uh, Are you okay? Yeah. What do you wish I could do more of? What kind of question is this? This is you trying to get... What? <laughs> Why? What do you what think that... Do? What do you think the answer would be? I don't know. What do you wish I would do more of? I wish you would do more of um, singing. Oh. I think you're very good at singing. You like singing. And I wish you would do more singing. Mm. Give me two lines or something, please, no. please. See, this is why I can't sing because I'm too shy. All right, guys. I really tried to get her to sing today <sighs> and she didn't. Uh, so you guys got to comment to make her sing. You know. She's really good at it. You know, today when I was like peeling a mango for Enzo, I was singing to Rihanna and then I was like recording it. And then after I was like, uh, I don't like it. And I just deleted it. But I was almost like, I'm going to post it today. Oh. I, I know. Who's smarter? Me or you? Hmm. I would say it's different. Because you're more street smart, but I'm more book smart. So you. No, <laughs> <laughs> I was... But it's different kind of smart. smart, though. Yeah, it's kind of different. You have more experience and I'm more like academics, if that makes sense. Yeah, I would say you're smarter. That's it. That's <laughs> oh, it. thank you. Wow. Yeah. Name your top three celebrity hall passes. Oh, like who I would... <laughs> I don't get that. Okay, let's see. So one would be Michael, Michael Jordan. Michael what? B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Oh, I was like, Michael Jordan? I'm like, no. I'm a pretty good basketball like Rocky. player. Rocky. Rocky. Michael B. Oh, Jordan. Okay. Uh-huh, yeah. I mean, he's, um, yeah, he's still he's looking. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. Before, I used to like um, Orlando Bloom, but that was like when he was in uh, Lord of the Rings with his long hair and his elf ears. <laughs> when he was pretty. And then maybe there's um, there was a soccer player. What do you know about soccer? I don't know. You know like David Beckham? No, not David Beckham. I don't know his name, though. My three? I know, yeah. <gasps> I think they've changed over time. Before she got old, it would have been like um, <laughs> Jennifer Aniston. 
Okay, I love her. Yeah, yeah. I love her. Yeah, she's awesome. Friends yeah. and you know, because like I'll see like hot celebrities, <gasps> but I wouldn't be like, oh yeah, I would, I would totally do them. I would do her. Well, I don't think like that when I see them. I'm just like, yeah. oh, he's cute. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's fine to think like that. That's normal. Okay. We're almost done here. We got three more questions. Okay, right. three more questions. Ow. We're so aggressive. Who wants sex more? Who wants sex more? You do. We know that. We know that. <laughs> they don't My know. love language is physical touch, and I always... Yeah, you just want it all day, all night. I do. Uh, you want it when the kids are napping. You want it when we're no, driving. No, 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 it's stupid. Sure. So it's crazy because our dynamic is so different. I'm like the typical guy in the relationship, and you're like the girl. Because I'm always the one that's like, that wants that like intimacy or the physical connection, and you're just like, oh, my stomach hurts. <laughs> I need to the bathroom. I'm tired. And I'm like, <laughs> yes. Do you, do you know how? Yeah, I am tired a lot. What have you always wanted to try in bed, but you haven't told me? Mm, mm, I don't know. Oh, what have I always wanted to try in bed? I feel like we've done a lot, especially in the beginning and stuff. Just but, like different places. I don't know. I mean, I guess if I fulfill all your fantasies, then don't answer the question. You know, I was really into Fifty Shades of Grey when I was reading it, and all, when all the movies came out and stuff. So and they would use like they would do like bondage and they would use like toys and stuff like that or like whips and stuff But I never I never really like fantasize about it But when I would watch that stuff, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool So you want me to whip you and spank you or what? I don't know. I mean you used to pull my hair You used to pull my hair. Yeah, now I'm just lazy like you <laughs> Oh, you're worse than me. Oh my god. Next question <laughs> Last question. Oh my gosh, people are getting to know a lot about us. If I was in a coma. Oh my gosh, this is so extreme. How long would you wait for me? Um, shit. I feel like this is a discussion we should probably have. I feel like I would probably hold on for a while. What's a while? Like, I don't know. I feel like I would even wait maybe like even at, at least a year. Whoa. Just to see if you'll pull through. We might not have that much money. I know. But then it's like, you always have that little bit of hope that like, if anyone ever is in a coma, that they'll get out of it. I do feel like I have the worst luck in the world. <laughs> oh and my the, goodness, my and, eyes are tearing up. And the best luck in the world to where like, I am that person would be, you know, in a year, I would wake up out of nowhere. Dude, I've heard stories about people that would wake up after like a few years, a year or yeah. whatever, you know? So I would, like, I would try my best to wait as long as possible. What a last question. I know, we went to talking about sex. <laughs> so All right. in a coma. Wait, how, how no. long would you wait for me? That's for sad. as long as possible. Oh my gosh, what's long as possible? Like, that's crazy. Do you have a minimum? Like, that's so crazy. A minimum? Yeah. Like, there's no minimum. Oh, it's, there's a maximum. Or is it more of like seeing how the other person is and then going from there? It, it's basically to the point of like, um, if we run out of funds and I still see some progression, oh, right? Um, or I still have hope. Um, obviously, financially, we can't destroy the kids' lives. Yeah. But then I would start asking family for money to see if we can hold on. Yeah. Start doing GoFundMes, you know, all that stuff. That's crazy so to know. even think about it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, great last question. <laughs> that <laughs> so, was deep, dude. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Truth or Drink and you learned a lot about Christina and I. Maybe too and much. Maybe too much. <laughs> you are <laughs> definitely much. buzzed. I thought I was going to be the one that got all buzzed. <laughs> you do a buzz. Oh, you're, do I? You're like, oh. <laughs> your eyes are like this. So you're like a little red right there. <laughs> Say, thank you. Thank you. Say, I love you. I love you. So shy.